Well, cotton seeds definitely a big feed source for dairy farmers here. But if you want the definition of volatility, just take a look at cotton prices lately. Limit price moves on Tuesday, followed by a dramatic drop on Wednesday, and it's leaving economists even puzzled on what's the cause for the cotton market. But John Phipps has some insight this weekend in customer support. From Anthony Paskett in Anderson, Texas. The cotton industry has experienced great change in the United States over the years. I have been connected to the cotton harvesting end of it. Do you think cotton will continue to be grown in the United States or will it fade away in 20 or 50 years and only be grown outside the U.S.? Well, 20 to 50 years is a long prediction. But I've wondered about this industry myself, even though this isn't cotton country. I think the answer will depend on three main factors, competition, climate, and clothing. While we are the largest global exporter of cotton, we lag behind India and China in production. Meanwhile, an amazing 93% of our crop in 2021 was exported. We grow cotton. We don't use it. Like all commodities, cotton competitors are benefiting from our extremely strong dollar, which makes our cotton more expensive compared to other countries. Competition also includes other crops, especially in the Mid-South. Strong soybean, and to a lesser extent, corn and wheat prices, can push growers to those crops. Weed control is adding to the cotton production problem. Climate is becoming a larger and larger factor, both due to weather conditions and water needs. I think we can anticipate cotton acreage in California to continue to drop, as well as perhaps at Oklahoma. Texas this year is suffering a deep drought as well, but it's not included in the decades-long mega drought area. Climate is also challenging our global competitors like India, so shifts in production areas around the world are really hard to predict. These are familiar problems for commodity producers, but cotton has a huge competition problem with a unique competitor, oil. Oil is used to produce polyester, and polyester fiber has become the dominant clothing input. It is very hard to buy clothing without some polyester in it. Ever more advanced manufacturing processes turn out polyester for fake fur to silky dresses. The biggest driver has been stretchy clothing for both comfort and looks. Now, additionally, Congress seems willingly to, uh, willing to subsidize a small number of cotton growers pretty extravagantly. Mix all these together, and the best I can predict is that the cotton industry will not be a growth industry in our future. Thanks so much, John. Well, one family is taking cow comfort to a whole new level during the trip to World Dairy Expo. We'll show you how one family is creating a life of luxury for cows. That's next.